forgot the word. Powerful word. This is amazing. I've got a scripture that I'm going to talk about. It's a baby scripture. So, um, you don't have to feel overwhelmed like I'm going to make this long video. And, like, it's just baby scripture. Powerful information. Short video. But before I do that, I'm going to pray. Because, um, Lord... I want it to be your Holy Spirit that uses me right now, you know, and that your truth would just come forth through me right now, using your scripture, God, that which our, our minds need to be rooted in so we don't drift into the darkness and we need to obey it. Um, God, I pray that it would, the word that I'm about to speak would be you and that it would bless your people, God. I would bless their souls and, and help them look at things with the correct biblical perspective that we need to have that's truth, God, in this world of deception from the devil and and it and, and this understand this real battle that we're in and help help them understand it better, God, through your word today and through what you you, you use me to say, God, that the thoughts that you put in my head, I pray that they would come out right of my mouth. <laughs> okay, yeah. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Okay, this is powerful. This is so amazing, y'all. This scripture right here. This is 1 Peter 2, 11. Short little bit, I told you. Listen, but it's powerful. So stay tuned. Dearly beloved... I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, listen to this, abstain from fleshly lusts, which, which, what, which war against the soul, what, that's power. Do you know our soul, what our soul is? Our soul is our mind, our will, and our emotions. So our soul is pretty important. Your mind is your, your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. Okay, that's, that's you. <laughs> that's pretty important. You don't want to have a war going on against your soul your mind will and emotions you don't but that's what fleshly lusts of the of the uh, lust of the flesh that god doesn't want us to do um sexual sin being one that i could think of or maybe smoking or or you know um um taking some like uh speed or you know, like some really not okay drugs, you know, there's like Tylenol and then there's like natural remedies and stuff. But like, I'm talking about hard, hardcore illegal drugs that that's a sin. That's, um, something that's warring against your soul, you know, um, flesh, fleshly lust, gluttony, you know, um, <sighs> It's crazy to think that, like, I, I can't understand, okay, like, <laughs> Lord, let me, let me, buy, be, help me be wise in the words that I use right now. Okay, like, I want to tell you that I crucified my sexual sin. And the lust of the flesh that God convicted me of, he helped me crucify it. Because I fear him. I fear him. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. And and I have the fear of the Lord in my heart. And, and, and through that fear of God, he's helped me turn from sexual sin, y'all. And I tell you, I personally testify to you, this scripture is truth. It is truth been truth in my life i i have a freedom in my soul 
that I never knew I could have. I didn't even know it existed. Like, I mean, like, I didn't even realize what bondage I was under. But as you submit to the Lord and start to obey his scriptures and abstain from fleshly lusts like he talks about, like he just says right here, because it wars against your soul. Oh, you will get freedom in your soul. You will begin to draw closer to God and in a way that you just uh, didn't even know you could. And it's so amazing. And, and, and you can you'll discern his presence. Y'all, I remember a couple years, years ago, about a year, year or so, I don't know how long, in, into my walk with God. One night, oh my gosh, I felt the presence of God so beautifully that night. I didn't want to go to sleep. Because I was like, I know when I wake up, I probably won't feel like I feel right now. But that night, oh, God's love was, he was just pouring his love into my heart and I felt his presence presence and I was turning from those sins I was receiving his word I was hungry for for wisdom and for his word and I was turning from it and and I was getting freedom in my soul and I was discerning the presence of God y'all it's amazing it's beautiful you know Satan has some sexual sins and other lusts of the flesh the war against your soul that are pleasurable for the moment you know, but they bring forth death. It's not worth it. It's not. He's so much better. His presence is so much better. And you will get to feel his presence the more you turn from the, the fleshly lusts and sexual sins. Sex outside of marriage, masturbation... Um, having sex with the same, um, sex, th those are sins, okay? Those are sins that God does not want you to do, and they war against your soul. Even if you don't believe it is truth, it's truth. Because God's word says it's truth, and his word is truth, period. Um, so, yeah, like, do what the Bible says, and you're gonna get freedom in your soul, and it's awesome and wonderful, and God wants you to have it. Um, but you have to, you know, um, mortify the deeds of the flesh. I mean, we, we have a sinful nature. We live in a broken world. There's things God doesn't want us to do that the devil would, will, will tempt you to do that will bring destruction. He came to kill, steal, and destroy. His, his word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path so we don't walk in darkness spiritually in our soul and then end up in hell and do evil things okay we need his word and we need to obey it listen to the scripture again and then i'll end this short video um first peter 2 11 dearly beloved i beseech you as strangers and pilgrims abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul Go check it out yourself. It's amazing. You can get your highlighter and highlight it and then share this seed with others for God's glory, for others to be free. God bless you. Bye-bye.